Welcome back boys and girls and today I'm going to be comparing steel targets versus self-healing targets. After purchasing our dreamland, we fell in love with healing those steel targets. So what's so great about it? First of all, the sound was great. You could really fall in love with those ding ding ding. Especially shooting pistols and 22 became so much more fun. Even my wife is getting into it. Twelve point one five seconds. Should I ready? Ready? Stand by. Four point four two seconds. Much better. Should I ready? Ready? Stand by. Go. Sixteen seventy six. Ready? Go. Good. Okay, 23.76 seconds. Your first finish. <laughs> and the next, you can really appreciate the full power of the gun. When it hits that steel target, at first it was getting a little bit scary because you see sparks, only even with 5.56 or 223. So we actually limited to shooting under 223. And lastly, the fact that it is able to withstand many, many rounds. But it wasn't strong as I was hoping for. But anyway, it could just keep on shooting it. So we limited to shooting under 223 or 556, even with half inch thick steel targets. But after shooting it for a little while, we also realized there's a limitation. So let's talk about the limitations. First is the cost. Steel targets is not cheap. 10 inch half inch steel targets will cost you about 75 to 80 bucks. And then you need to have a T post or a stand and then you need a steel hanger so for each target it averages about 100 bucks secondly because we have to put in a t-post or a stand it's not easy to reconfigure or reset the shooting codes it takes time energy and manpower and the third i thought steel targets would virtually stand thousands of rounds but from my personal experience not so true a lot of steel targets were breaking in different ways on the self-standing target the spring broke hanging steel targets ears fell off and it's getting a lot of dents and if the dents gets deep enough it could be dangerous and the hanging steel targets chains broke so on the steel target all the parts that need to be replaced or be thrown away it costs money and lastly it's a distance limitation up to a pistol caliber it should be minimum 15 yards but 25 yards or 50 yards is preferable to be safe but in my personal experience in 9mm 13-15 yards is safe as long as you have the steel target angled and it's moving and in 22 even 10 yards seems to be okay. And for a rifle caliber, it should be about 75 to 100 yards. But in my personal experience, it seems like about 50 yards is okay. But again, I haven't shot anything bigger than 223. But to do a realistic, fast, fun shooting, we need targets a little bit closer so we can actually shoot with free hand and move on to the next target. So I tried 5 gallon plastic bucket targets and 1 gallon plastic containers. None of them work. The bullets go through them like nothing. So the targets hardly move when it gets hit. So after doing a little bit of research, I came across this target. Self-healing target. Now this is 10 inch and this comes with a stand like so. But a lot of people complain about this stand is not strong enough and with some impact they tend to break it. So I'm not even going to use this but I'm going to be using my heavy duty plant hanger that I used on a bucket target and hang it like this. This way it's going to swing and because it's not so close to the stand hopefully we won't hit the plant hanger. So I'm hoping this will solve the four limitations because this only cost me 23 bucks and the plant hanger cost me about 4 bucks. So it's under 30 bucks per target. So if I need to replace it, it's not a heartbreaker.
And moving a plan hanger, it is so easy. You could virtually do it within a minute. And because the bullet goes right through them, we won't have a full impact hitting on this target. So I'm hoping this will last as long as steel targets or even longer than steel targets. And most importantly, it's the distance. With this target, we could virtually set it up at any distance and we could do some fun, fast, realistic shooting. I got six self-healing targets over here. So let's get it on. Push that two small dot, so self healing is working just fine, but it's not moving as much as I wanted to. Okay, unfortunately, with 223, it's moving so fast and it's a small caliber, the targets are not moving at all. So that was a failure. Now I'm gonna try with 22 long rifle and see if they'll move. Okay, they move. Okay, now we're gonna try 9 millimeter. Okay, 9 million works fine. Okay, I have to hit 16 targets, including the steel targets, and my wife's gonna hit 11 targets. Ready? Stand by. Go! Twenty oh one. Should have ready. Ready. Go. Fifteen point five five seconds. All right, my beautiful wife's turn. Should have ready. Ready. Go! Stop. You missed two targets. Okay, this qualifies, she missed two targets, so she's gonna do it again. <laughs> Should ready? Ready? Go! More hit, 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 hit. Hit, 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 stop! Woo! 11.04. You won, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna compete again. I'm gonna draw and fire. My wife's gonna shoot at the ready position. Get ready, ready, stand by. Eight point eight eight seconds. Should ready? Ready. Stand by. <laughs> hit. 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 Miss. Miss. Hit. Ha too high. No more no point. Hit. Thirteen point three seven seconds. Should ready? Ready. Stand by. <laughs> hit. 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 Miss. Hit. Whoa! 7.3 seconds. Woo. I lost again. Okay, self-healing target so far worked fine. And you can see the whole close up. So I think this could literally take hundreds of rounds. It was great for 22, 9 millimeter, not so much with 223. It's moving way too fast and it's a small caliber. But I think this will work fine with 308. I guess we have to test that out again. Okay, I'm gonna put three plywoods in the bucket and shoot it with 223 and see how this moves. Okay, it does move. 
where after competing with my wife, I realized a new thing that is a less experienced shooters. It's not easy for them to really enjoy it because they're not really hitting the targets at a long distance. So by bringing the target close, it really levels the ground for them. And she really wanted to practice more. And after a practice, I was getting a little panicky myself. Because here we are, competing in a similar level. Even though I gave a small handicap, she beat me in both competitions. As you can see, the still target and self-healing target both have pros and cons. And we really don't have to lean from one to another, but actually have both of them and enjoy shooting. But I still have one homework left, and that's to find a safe close-up target for 223, and I think I have a good idea. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have in your life with what you got, but mostly get your loved ones hooked on shooting, and the rest is history. See ya.